Okay, my twin flame journey baddies, tap in. We're about to see what's going on with this twin flame journey. <laughs> it's been coming up way too much as of lately, and I'm like, what's going on, okay? We know we experienced um, ascensions and catalyst growths and um, different little things, but everyone is in a different part of their journey. I'm going to see if we can tap in and see what's going on. What do we need to know about the Twin Flame journey? What do we need to know what's happening right now on this Twin Flame journey? Okay, right. This is one of the main things that's like a lesson in the Twin Flame journey. Setting loving boundaries, okay? This is how you're going to even be able to open your heart up to your Twin Flame, especially if you've closed it to your Twin Flame. <laughs> you're going to have to set boundaries with the ears. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, there he go. The high priest, 1010, could be significant. He is expanding consciousness. That means your, your twin flame, the masculine, he is trying to awaken. Everyone knows, or if you don't, you should know today that the divine feminine, the feminine twin, always usually awakens before the masculine, okay? What else is going on? Yeah, um, both of y'all um, are activating the higher chakras right now. This is helping you clear energy blocks, okay? Um, especially the masculine. That is how they're going to be able to expand their consciousness. They're going to have to clear out those energy blocks. What else? There go the feminine twin. You're here. So 6-6 six, six could be um, significant. You are activating your higher self, feminine twin. Of course. Of course. <laughs> What's at the bottom? Yep. Ground, shield, and protect. When you activate your higher self, you have to ground. You have to continue to stay grounded. You have to protect yourself, okay? You have to. That's why set loving boundaries came out first. Let's get a little bit of information on both. And then we're going to see um, exactly what you need to know right now during this journey. And we're going to get some messages from your twin if you are in separation with your twin, okay? Which most of us are. <laughs> okay, so set loving boundaries. Why is set loving boundaries here? Yeah, because that is how you, you have to do that with your healing energy. You can't just give your healing energy to just anybody, Okay, and with the with that being the star card, your twin can be recognizing something about you. They're recognizing you are worth an investment when they may have not treated you as such at first. Okay, so this high priest. Oh, that says high priestess. That's still the feminine energy. I thought that said high priest. So this is why you're activating your higher self. You're expanding your consciousness. Okay, tell me about this high priestess energy. Yeah, you're planting seeds. You learned your worth. You know your worth. And you're, you're, you're planting seeds while you're expanding your consciousness here. Okay? You did have to go and do some self-reflecting, especially probably after the Twin Flame journey or after one of the encounters. You typically have to go within after the first or second encounter. <laughs> so what is this activating higher chakras? But that's okay. You learned the lesson, right? You learned the lesson. Now it's time for a new beginning. You're going to set those boundaries. You're going to expand your consciousness. You're activating the higher chakras. Now you're activating your higher self. Okay. All right. I, I love my feminine twins. Look, as you're activating your higher self, you're, you're able to go down that path of the unknown. Okay. You're able to go down that path that's not completely determined, but it's because you're trusting your spirit guides. You're tr you're, you've put this connection in the hands of the spirit, guys, okay? At one point, you tried to take control of it yourself because you're like, okay, no. This love, this energy is too strong. We're meant to be together. We, I have to fight for this. But now you've learned that, no, you don't fight for it. You give it to your spirit, guys. You give it to the divine. And you um, allow them to bring you through this the proper way. What does my feminine twins need to know? 
Yeah, because if you don't give it to the divine, you have split energy. You could be unfocused, um, multitasking, and they wanted you to decide what to really do, right? Some of us are still in that energy, but um, marriage is here. So look, oh my God, for some of us, a legal partnership or commitment could be coming for us. And this could be your twin or this could be someone else. You know, it depends if your twin gets aligned. Like I said, you're going down that path of the unknown, okay? Mystery. Um, you're entering an unknown territory. So you're like, I gave it to the divine. Whatever is supposed to happen will happen. Yes is at the bottom now. It popped out at first and I put it back. So if you were wondering something, if you were like, dang, is this is if this specific person my twin flame, the answer is yes. <laughs> Um, some of you may have to start journaling while you're in this journey, okay? It will help you. Because, yeah, like exactly like I was about to say. Oh, my God. It will help you get past heartbreak, okay? Broken trust. And if you're afraid to move on, you've had hesitation. Start journaling to process some of your thoughts, some of these memories that you have with that twin flame, okay? Now, if you're in separation currently with your twin flame, Let's see. What is it that he wants to tell you? What is the twin flame want to say? What he got to say? <laughs> All right. That's enough shit. <laughs> At the bottom, it says time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. And for some of us, that can be the result, depending on how unawakened your twin was. It says, my spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me? Maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> it says, I have awakened to our connection. I know we have a timeless bond between us. Okay. So th maybe that could be why I accidentally said high priest instead of high priestess with that expanding consciousness. Because maybe some of the male masculine twins are awakening. You were my home and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. Why? Because I set boundaries. I'm not going to deal with your fuckery until you uh, align. <laughs> I kept up a fake to the world. But you always saw past my soul. You always saw that pat into my soul you always saw past that into my soul now that's true you always knew the real you with your twin and that's why you would try so hard because you're like i know who you really are but you know you had to give it to the divine i feel like i don't know who i am anymore so some of them are trying to awaken here you know might be having a hard time I settle for second best because I don't deserve you. Some of them did do that, especially if they had you in a third party situation. And this says, I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. <laughs> so your twin could do that or you could do that to them. I don't know. But that's what I have for our twin flame messages. I really hope this helps somebody, brought some clarity, some motivation or some guidance to one of my twins out there.